Hi everyone, happy Tuesday afternoon. Today is day two of Dragonfly, Dragonfly Garden Week. Um, we showed, we made one card together yesterday, this one, and today I have my sample made. We're going to make this one. And then tomorrow is supposed to be day three, but I have an appointment at four and I don't think I'll be back in time to do a day three. So we'll have days one and day two, Monday and Tuesday, and then we'll have the Dragonfly class on Thursday. That won't be here on the MC2 Michelle's Creative Corner page. That'll be over in the group card class with MC2. That's a free class. Um, you can order a card kit if you would like it, or it is free with an order. There's an ordering special. So, but I promised you I wanted to do several short videos through the week instead of one really long one. So, um, the class is, is a little longer because it's four cards that we're going to make. But in these Facebook Lives, I really wanted to make shorter videos. I think I ran up the stairs. I'm out of breath. So, um, I'm going to switch cameras and show you how to make this card. Now, if you would like to order the supplies to make this card or get prepared for the Dragonfly Garden class on Thursday, then um, you can head over to my shop and do just that. The, um, the link is in the comments here on, will be in the comments of the video on Facebook, as well as the comments of the video on YouTube, and they are going to my blog. So, um, still have quite a bit, well, a little bit to get in order, but much, much closer. So, let's take a look at how we made this card. So, I started with a piece of Blackberry Bliss that is eight and a half by 11, and I cut it at four and a quarter, and I scored it at five and a half. And that's what I'm left with. Then I have two pieces of white that are four by five and a quarter. One for the outside and one for the inside. Now, this circle is cut from the designer series paper, and I love doing this. Um, I think it's just a little, a little different look, um, but I've done a couple of cards. So as a reminder, here is the designer series paper sampler and all the colors that coordinate with it and all of the patterns. And this has so many patterns, it is a front and a back. So beautiful colors and lots of patterns to choose from. So for this card, I knew I wanted a, um, a full pattern, if that makes sense, something that's busy. So that's why I chose well, you know what? I did not choose this one with the bumblebee. I chose this one with the smaller bumblebees. Hmm. Interesting. So this one has a little bit of a, a smaller design than this one, but basically the same or very similar images. All right. So I've already cut my circle using the largest of the stitched shape circles. So you know what I'm going to say next, these stitched shapes are retiring. If you don't have them, go get them, go directly to get them now. Um, I don't believe that they've sold out, but I did not check the inventory supply list before I got started. Um, and the clearance rack was refreshed today, so um, there were several items when I looked this morning from the mini catalog um, that had all the, the fall and the holiday items in it. Okay, so here's my card base. I'm gonna set that piece aside. Now I have the two pieces of white, and I'm gonna set these three guys aside for just a moment. I want to stamp my little fireflies first, and then we're going to emboss that. Now, how do I know where I want those little fireflies to go? I'm going to kind of eyeball it by using the back side of this and then find my crumb cake ink pad. I've already got my little fireflies 
stamp set mounted. So these red rubber stamps are called cling stamps and they you put the labels on them okay you peel off the pieces put the labels on them and this is sticky so this is what sticks to your acrylic blocks um, I have several different sizes of acrylic blocks um, if you're just getting started start with block D that's the most common size and that's the one I have right now and then move up to an E move down to a C and then expand out from there all right, so I am going to stamp these in crumb cake ink, just kind of around where I'm going to put my circle. I, I did get inspiration for this card from an, a fellow demonstrator. Unfortunately, I can't begin to pronounce her name, um, so I'm just going to have to type it. All right, I think that's pretty much where I want them to be, so I'm okay with that. I'll put away the crumb cake ink. As long as I'm stamping, I'm going to go ahead and get out. So here is thank you for your kindness. Now, I wanted something that was more streamlined than, than this was going to be, require more of a square. So I masked off for your kindness and just stamped the thank you on my little strip of white. So how do you do that? Well, you could use a post-it note. This is actually post-it tape that I got from Amazon. You could use scotch tape. Just anything that will let you cover the portion that you don't want to stamp. Okay, now open up my ink and then ink up my stamp and my ink pad. Okay, now I need to be very careful because I've got ink all over the edges. So, sorry for my big head. But I want to be sure that I don't rock this because then I would be giving myself halos. All right, so that I am pleased with. Go ahead and then clean these two off. Okay, and there's the two of them. Then we can go ahead and run this piece through the embossing and emboss it, sorry. Okay, but I'm gonna show you something. If you look closely, you might agree with me that my bricks are going in instead of out and that I might want to fix that on the next card. Now, I'm perfectly happy to send it the way it is, but agree that I might want it the other way. So how do I know which side is up and which side is down? So I think that I want the Stampin' Up! side up. I don't know why this is so hard. Um, no. Actually, you know what? It should be kind of varied. I should have some. Well, you know, we'll see how it goes. Anybody got a thought on which way it needs to be? Um, I don't think I've ever stamped it, so it's never mattered before. I've never paid attention. Um, but this has got bricks pushing in and this one has a little bit of both no grout okay I'm gonna go with this side so stamp it upside up and let's see what we get and Mm 
Now, to do this embossing, I need my base plate, my number one, and then I need um, what is going to be number four in the new catalog. Um, before we had this blue plate for this. Now, remember, your hinged side goes in first of the embossing folder. And let's crank this through. Now we've got a 50-50 shot of getting this right. I'm not going to reveal it just yet. So tonight is my team meeting and we are going to be stamping with the well suited bundle. All right, you ready? Ah, ta da. Look at that. Okay. Now we have more brick and less grout. So that was stamp it upside up, stamp it up logo up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this piece down from the inside of my card. Now I realized that this wasn't a complete start to finish because I did do the cutting of my cardstock before we started and I ran that one piece through the cut and emboss machine before we started. Um, but for the most part, this is start to finish. All right, we're gonna put this down. I'm gonna do this flush. And then we'll pop up the dragonfly and the greeting. And I'm gonna angle that just a little bit. Okay, so here's the inside of the card and here's the front of the card. And I could trim that just a tiny bit to make it thinner, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to come in kind of close on this side and close on this side. We'll call that done. So the only piece that we need to do next is the, the butterfly that goes here. All right. So set those there. I have a scrap piece of Blackberry Bliss. Blackberry Bliss is one of my favorite colors. It was actually one of the in colors when I first knew anything about Stampin' Up! And I fell in love. I didn't understand what this in color business meant. What it meant was that it didn't stick around. Um, at the end of that year, because I think it was in its second year at that point, it went away. And I didn't know what to think about that, which I didn't really care. I didn't have a business at that point. I was stamping just for fun, just for me, making cards for my family and my friends. It wasn't until I started building a business that I began to care more about this. Okay, so I totally didn't tell you what I was doing there, so let's do it again. All right, so I've got the Dragonfly stamp, and I'm going to use this Versamark ink pad. And actually, I'm going to use a different one, because I think it has more ink on it. So Versamark ink pad. Versamark is clear and sticky, so it doesn't dry as quickly as the other inks. That gives me time to add the embossing powder um, so I'm just stamping that down this is also great for watermarks or tone on tone stamping now okay, I'm going to get this out and that's clear I want the gold so there is a technique I want to do with clear embossing powder maybe next week. So next week, I don't have a class that we'll be working toward like we are this week. So um, I still want to do short videos, but I don't 
have a specific stamp set that'll be featured every day. Might be different each day. Not quite sure what to do on those weeks that I don't have a class. So we have the first Thursday and the third Thursday. There are a couple other Thursdays in the month. Sometimes even more. All right, so now I've, this is um, embossing powder and it is going to melt when I heat it and that's gonna create that shiny gold that you see there, okay? So let's just get out the heat tool. And maybe you'll be able to see it as it melts. You'll see that there. Yeah, you can see it. Isn't that the coolest thing? So the heat just melts that powder. Sticks. Now, what happens when you are working on dark colors like this and you get that embossing powder, it leaves a little bit of a, a residue. So you may want to come back with a sponge or a tissue and wipe that off. Um, we used to sell embossing buddies, which were something like um, baking soda, I think, in them. And that would help the powder only stick where you wanted it to stick which was where you had your Versamark ink. But now we don't carry that embossing pout buddy anymore. I might still use mine if I knew exactly where it is. I'm sorry, my head is in the way. Okay. I'm trying to get less head. Okay. So this stamp, okay, this is the Dragonfly stamp. I showed you punch, not stamp, it's a punch. Showed you yesterday. So now I have my large gold embossed Dragonfly, and I got this little baby butter uh, Dragonfly. <laughs> oh my goodness, I might need a nap, except I don't nap very well. All right, let's put this on the inside. Now, some of you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, and um, if you have ordered anything online recently, you have probably been very aware that um, items are not shipping as quickly as normal, and um, Stampin' Up! is experiencing some of the same kinds of delays, and Paper Pumpkin is a little delayed this month. So that adorable, so cool, set. Um, it's going to be a little late getting to you. And if you place an order for product, you might experience the same thing. I have been expediting most of my orders since the pandemic began. All right, I'm just going to put this one, this sweet little thing, down here on the inside. And then this one here. I'm just using the Seal Plus. The Seal Plus is one of the products, not Seal Plus, Stampin' Seal um, and possibly Seal Plus are um, it's a product being impacted by shipping delays. This is um, may become low inventory or on back order before we get a shipment in. Don't believe it has yet, um, but they were letting us know. Okay, so I'm going to put the dragonfly up on these mini dimensionals, and I'm just going to use two. And I'm just going to come right about there. And then I'll take the thank you. I'm 
got dimensionals for it as well. Peel the backs off of them. So I hope that you like these little short videos and that you will um, share with your friends um, that you'll like my page, subscribe to me on YouTube. I am working to grow my following. All right, the last thing we're going to do is tie a bow with this um, Mossy Meadow braided trim. At least I think that's close to the name of it. This is part of the Dragonfly Garden suite that's in the mini catalog but this catalog is available till the end of June. The annual catalog, the large catalog, is the one that is retiring on May the 3rd. Okay, and then just for fun, I kind of flared this out a little bit. This is a fun trim to, to do that. And you can fray it entirely or you can just stretch it a little bigger. So I did a little bit of fraying at the end. And then... So tonight at my team meeting we will do some stamping. I mentioned we're going to use uh, the well suited. So these are masculine cards that we're making tonight. And we are making masculine cards in Card Club in May. So the last Saturday of May will be um, a well suited card club. So mark your calendars for that. Now, uh, this April 24th is card club with the snailed it bundle the cards are super cute I'll, um, and I've got a couple of openings if you are interested in that all right I think the last thing that we need is a little bit of bling and I decided with the gold embossing I would do a little bit of these gold metallic pearls I love these pearls and we all know that positioning embellishments is not my strength. But I got an odd number on there. I think that's the most important part. All right, so here is today's card. All complete, all right? Let's go back and look at yesterday's card for just a moment. So I came back and I stamped the inside. I just added that tall stamp there and I stamped the back of the envelope. Now I stamped this with um, Misty Moonlight and then I went over the flowers with Stella. So I don't know if you can tell, but that meant that the flowers filled in a little bit because the Stella um, blended the color a little bit. So here is the envelope for yesterday's card. I think that turned out super sweet. It says, you are an inspiration. And then this one is a thank you card. You could use so many different greetings on these. Um, and that looks so crooked from that angle. I don't know can't tell if it is or not. But anyway, so day two wrapped up. I hope that you are enjoying, um, I don't know, a little shorter videos more often. Um, and then, uh, like I said, tomorrow I don't think I'll be able to get on in time. So Thursday I'll be in uh, the card class with MC2 and I'll try and post some updates and um, there should be a, a newsletter that goes out. So if you're not on my newsletter list, please let me know so that I can add you 
and then you can always um, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And any day now, I will be letting you know about the blog where um, all of these things are posted and will be in an easier to find format. You don't have to run all over Facebook to different groups. You can go to my blog and then follow the links. All right, so everybody have a very blessed day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.